So two years with the Nikon Z9. I've gone everywhere with this camera, done a whole bunch of different shoots, different wildlife, different landscapes, all four seasons, different places around the United States, and I can't imagine uh, doing any of this stuff with a different camera. And I just can't imagine getting some of the shots that I have gotten with any other camera I've had in the past. In the past I've had a D500, I've had a Z, uh, Z7 II, and now I have the Z9. And a lot of the times, whenever I miss a shot, that's on me, it has nothing to do with the camera. So whenever you pick it up and you try to go out for the day, you know it's going to be a good day. And you know the camera's not gonna let you down. Some people have asked me if I have any buyer's remorse after buying a Z9 and then the Z8, you know, sneaks out about mm, a year after I bought it. And I remind them that uh, no, no buyer's remorse because I do know that the Z9 has the bigger battery and it has two CFX cards. And I don't have to worry about any heat problems doing 8K video, 8K raw, none of that stuff. Because the Z9 does get warm, but uh, it dissipates that heat extremely well. And with all the different firmware updates we've had over the past two or three years for the Z9, it kind of feels like we got a bonus camera out of the whole deal. And my favorite part of the upgrades has to be the Bird Eye AF. Uh, specific mode and also the aviation or aircraft detect mode that's also come in extremely handy whenever it comes to you know air shows and whatnot. Some of my favorite places to uh, test out the footage on the Z9 this is down at the Pittsburgh Aviary and you get some crazy sharp shots down there of animals that uh, normally you wouldn't get to see. And one of the bonuses I like about the Z9 is uh, it has the built-in grip so it makes it super easy to balance large telephoto lenses like the 180 to 600. And between the 180 and 600 and the Z9, you get five and a half stops of stabilization using Synchro VR, because they work together. And it makes handheld slow motion 4K 120 shots a breeze. You don't have to tote around a giant tripod anymore to get the perfect video shot. And you combine that with the Bird IAF, and, and it just makes life so much easier. You can spend more time worrying about setting up your shot than how you're gonna get the shot. And since I'm in a kayak most of the time, it makes life so much easier in a kayak because the kayak will bob around, the wind will blow you around, you're moving all over the place, and uh, you don't have to worry about it as much. And then we've been through all the different types of weather, snow, rain, blowing wind. As you can see, uh, heavy, <laughs> heavy swells in the lake. And the camera gets soaked and it just keeps going. I don't have to worry about anything with the camera. It just performs as intended. Honestly, can't imagine a better camera. I'm not sure what the next Z9 is going to have to have for me to consider upgrading to uh, the next generation. Some people say it needs a global shutter to compete when I have a stacked sensor and it doesn't really feel any different. I mean, if you need a high frame rate sync for flash or something like that, or you're doing some specific video that you need it for, I mean, I get that, but it doesn't really have anything to do with wildlife from my point of view. I mean, I guess with everybody else, the only thing I really kind of wish doesn't really matter but I kind of wish I had more megapixels you know like 45 is awesome don't get me wrong but 60 or 70 that'd be awesome too but bakers can't be choosers and the cameras are really great just the way it is it's just nice to be able to pick up the camera and know that it's going to do what you need it to do without having any hiccups or missed shots or any problems in between so if anyone's out there looking for a camera I highly recommend looking for a used Z9. You can find them for about $4,000. So at the end of the video here, we're going to just play some music and show you my favorite shots from the past two years. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. Hit that subscription button. Hit the bell notification. And I'll see you next time. Watch me sway, darkness falls and we all pray 
hoping for the light of day down to the river i have held the devil's hand felt the weight of my own sin burdened by the heart of man down to the river down to the river to the river every man has felt the shame all our blood it runs the same father hear us as we pray 